In a startling new study, the number of children being hospitalized with eating disorders has gone up almost 120 percent over the past few years. Today in Health Matters, part two of our eating disorder series. From one end of the scale to the other, with more cases of childhood obesity being reported, the opposite problem is also taking a drastic turn. Coaches need to be looking for this, parents need to be looking for this, and they need to be talking to kids about um, healthy and unhealthy ways to maintain weight. The Journal of Pediatrics reports that over the past decade, there's been a sharp increase in girls under the age of 12 diagnosed with bulimia and anorexia. There were also more cases involving teen and preteen boys. The warning signs? I would say sort of an unhealthy preoccupation with their weight, with dieting, um, maybe you know a failure to grow in a younger child or, or extreme weight loss or sudden weight loss in an older child. Those could be some signs. Discussing this topic can be difficult for both the parent and the child. It's a slippery slope. I think the, the reflex is to be angry. Um, I have seen a lot of parents that are in denial, that ignore it, and these, these are um, completely expected but certainly I think the right thing to do is to approach the child, to confront the child, and then to bring them to medical attention so we can get more people at the table to start talking and treating the eating disorder. And treatment comes in a variety of forms. It's a multidisciplinary approach. So the primary care physician is usually the team leader, but then we have lots of other practitioners that are involved. For instance, a nutritionist to develop the nutrition plan, a psychiatrist to handle the psych the psychiatric evaluation which needs to take place and then usually a psychologist because these kids are going to need ongoing counseling. Because children's bodies are still developing, it's important to get help early to avoid irreversible changes to their body structure and their brain development. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar.